today's read aloud is called nutrients. What are nutrients? It's substances that provide nourishment. It's necessary for all of life. How does the body get nutrients? It's in the food that we eat, in the things that we drink. How do nutrients travel through the body? Through the blood. Most of the read aloud that you will hear today will be about the four main nutrients that your body needs to grow. Listen carefully to learn about two other important nutrients and to learn about all six nutrients essential to healthy bodies. Let's take a look at some vocabulary words in our read aloud today. The first word is carbohydrates, substances that supply the human body with energy. The next word is fats, substances that are essential to a healthy body in small doses. And the last word is proteins, substances found in all body cells that are essential for growth. Let's begin. Why do you eat? Is it because certain foods taste really good to you? That's surely one reason why I eat. I cannot imagine my world without the taste of a fresh bowl of vegetable soup or a peppermint stick ice cream cone on a summer's day. You also eat because you get hungry, right? Your tummy grumbles and complains if it hasn't been fed for a long time. But what is the main reason you eat? Ah, at last, Nick Nutri's chance to talk about my favorite topic, nutrients. You eat because you need the nutrients that food provides to stay healthy. We have talked a lot about nutrients in the previous lessons. You know that your blood carries nutrients to all parts of the human body. Your digestive and excretory systems filter waste from the body and send nutrients back into the blood. Your cells need nutrients to stay alive. Your tissues need nutrients to function properly. Your organs stop working without the right nutrients. And if your organs stop working, your body systems might stop working too. You know that nutrients are good for you, but what exactly are nutrients? Nutrients are substances that provide nourishment necessary for the growth and health of an organism. Providing the body with the nutrients it needs is an essential part of staying healthy. So, how do you get nutrients? Yes, from the food you eat. Nutritionists, like me, think of the body as a chemical factory. Everything you eat is made up of thousands of different chemical substances. The ones that every healthy body needs to stay alive are called nutrients. Everyone needs four basic nutrients, water, carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. These nutrients come from different food sources. It is up to you to choose the right foods to supply your bodies with the proper balance of water, carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. Today I'm going to teach you how to make the best food choices for maintaining a healthy body. Let's start with the nutrient that is familiar to everybody, water. Water is perhaps the most important nutrient of all. It is necessary for all body functions. You cannot live for more than about a week without water. Did you know that two thirds of your body is made up of water? Water is part of your blood. It travels in and out of your cells and helps to dissolve other nutrients carrying them to all your tissues. Water is a necessary part of the excretory system, making up most of your urine. Water helps break down your food so that solid waste can pass from your body. Water even helps maintain the right body temperature. When given a choice of what to drink, 
Water is always the healthiest choice you can make. It is up to you to constantly refill your body's supply of water. You need between three and six cups each day. But not all of your water needs to come from a cup. Did you know that many foods contain lots of water too? Grapefruit, watermelon, tomatoes, cucumber, and lettuce are all good choices. One way to tell whether you are getting enough water is to check the color of your urine. It should be practically colorless. All nutrients supply your body with energy, but the body's main source of energy comes from carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are found almost entirely in plant foods, fruits, vegetables, whole grains, peas, and beans. Potatoes, rice, and pasta are good choices for carbohydrates. Milk and milk products like ice cream and yogurt provide the body with carbohydrates and protein. Cheese has only a few carbohydrates. Protein is a bodybuilder contained in all body cells. It is necessary for your body's growth and development, building muscle and helping to repair cells. It's easy to see how cells outside the body, like hair, skin, and nails, renew themselves, isn't it? Each time we cut them, they grow right back. The body makes its own protein, but it needs help from foods. Good sources of protein include meat, fish, chicken, eggs, milk, and beans. The fourth nutrient that your body needs is fat. Butter, margarine, and oils are good sources of fat. Today, many people are overweight, so it may seem strange to you that I am telling you to include fat in your diet. But your body does need a certain amount of fat. Does anyone know why? Well, for one thing, fat is necessary for the development of your brain, especially in the first few years of your life. When you looked at skin cells under a microscope, do you remember seeing the layer of fat cells? A thin layer of fat underneath your skin acts like a blanket, providing you with insulation and warmth. Fat stores energy in your body and helps keep your skin healthy too. So you see, fat is an important nutrient, but you only need a very small amount of it. Your body can make most of its building blocks from carbohydrates and proteins. After about age two, you need to be careful not to eat too much fat because that might cause you to gain too much weight. So far, you've learned that the body needs four basic nutrients to grow and stay healthy. What are they? Great, water, carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. These are not the only nutrients your body needs. There are other important nutrients that are also essential to life. They are called vitamins and minerals. Your body needs less of them, but if you don't get enough vitamins and minerals, you can become sick. Long ago, sailors lived on a diet of only biscuits and salty meat while they were out at sea. They began to suffer from bleeding gums and their bones became weak. Once they added lemons and limes to their diet, the sailors became much better. Why do you think that is? Citrus fruits like lemons, limes, oranges, and grapefruits gave the sailors the vitamin C that they needed to keep their blood vessels, gums, and teeth healthy. Vitamin C also helps build tissue to fight germs. That's why your mom or dad might give you extra orange juice if you feel like you're catching a cold. If you aren't a fan of citrus fruits, broccoli and tomatoes are also good choices to make sure you are getting enough vitamin C. Letters of the alphabet, like the letter C, are used for many vitamins. There's vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamins C, D, and E, and so many more. Vitamin A is important for healthy skin, 
and helps you see more clearly at night. Dairy products, carrots, and dark leafy greens contain lots of vitamin A. There are many different B vitamins. Vitamins B1, vitamin B2, vitamin B3, and so on. The B vitamins, found mostly in meat, help the body perform lots of different functions. For example, B12 helps make red blood cells. Vitamin D, found in fish and egg yolks, helps build strong bones. Most of the vitamins you need come from vegetables, fruits, and grains. All vitamins are essential in small doses or amounts. If you have a healthy diet, you are probably getting all of the vitamins you need. Fluoride is a mineral that is often added to public drinking water. It is contained in some toothpaste and mouthwash as well. This is because fluoride helps prevent tooth decay. Your body needs small amounts of different minerals, such as fluoride, to help perform specific body functions. Besides fluoride, other minerals include calcium, sodium, and iron. You can help your teeth and bones stay strong by eating foods rich in calcium. Milk, broccoli, and almonds are good choices. Sodium, found in table salt, bacon, and lots of soup broths, helps regulate the body's fluids. Then again, too much salt is not good for you. It causes the body to hold onto too much fluid, which can cause high blood pressure. If you feel weak, look pale, and get tired easily, you may need more iron. Eat more red meat, whole grains, and beans. Iron helps the body carry oxygen throughout the body and helps the body fight infections. Each one of these minerals provides important nutrients for your body. As with vitamins, you can get most of the minerals you need by eating a healthy diet. That's what we will talk about next time we meet. The best foods for you to eat. Here are some discussion questions. Feel free to pause the video in order to allow time to think and discuss. What are the four basic nutrients the body needs to grow? What are the two other nutrients needed by the body in lesser amounts? In the read aloud, you learn that your body is two thirds water. How much of your body then is not made up of water? Which one of the four basic nutrients supplies most of the body's energy? What stage of life do humans need the most fats in their diets? If your hair and nails stop growing, which essential nutrient are you most likely missing? Why? Which vitamin supplied by citrus fruits like oranges, lemons, and limes helps build tissue to fight germs? Vitamin D is sometimes called the sunshine vitamin because sun is a better source of vitamin D than most foods. If you apply sunblock when you go outdoors, your skin will not make vitamin D, but the sunblock will protect you from some of the sun's harmful rays. How else do people get enough vitamin D to build strong bones? 